Jeremy here from The Quarter. And yesterday there was a conversation uh, uh, between, at least released, between Tucker Carlson and Ice Cube. And this is, of course, the worst kind of conversation uh, that could possibly happen, uh, according to liberal media, because uh, th we're supposed to believe that um, the relations between black people and white people have never been worse, and they couldn't possibly sit down and have a, a conversation that involved both agreements and disagreements uh, without things flying wildly out of control. And of course, the hit pieces have started already today uh, with uh, ridiculous articles about Ice Cube, ridiculous uh, claims around Tucker, and all this is really on Ice Cube's tour to promote his Big Three um, basketball league, which has been uh, rejected by the NBA. Uh, he seems to have a, a vendetta against them, which I 100% support. Uh, one day, hey, maybe uh, Cube, you want to come on my channel and talk about it? Happy to have you. Um, it's it's an interesting conversation that I recommend uh, watching. It's a uh, it's one of those that you know gets down to some of the some of the uh, spicy issues, some of the spicy issues that you can't talk about on a lot of platforms. By the way, you know I've I've kind of done a poor job. I've kind of and this is my fault. I talk about all these platforms that you can go to and have freer speech because true free speech really doesn't exist online. But one of the best platforms to do that on is Minds. It's, you know, visually it may look like uh, Twitter or Facebook, but uh, the way the architecture it's built on and uh, it's been around for so long. I'm going to leave a link to uh, my Minds page. And if you want to check it out, um, I mean, there's a lot of people on Minds. I have, what, 35,000 people following me on Minds. There's lots of conversation. I just posted this a few minutes ago. There's a lot of comments. And, you know, I've been on here for years and years and years. Minds really is the closest free speech uh, out there. And they also have this thing called Super Minds, which uh, you can, you know, find your favorite content creators. Lots of us are on here. And, like, request they address a specific question. You can send a, me a Supermind request and I'll answer your questions on here. I do it all the time. Um, so you can check those out. But uh, yeah, join Minds. Be a part of it um, for free speech. And I bet you'll really like it. It's like one of those things that people just forget talk, to talk about. And, um, you know, that's what I need to do. So he, part of the clip is, is this. Backed out. Why wouldn't you take the vax? Um, you, you had a direct order to take it. You were told to take it. Yeah, I, I'm not real good with direct orders, but on a whole nother note. <laughs> uh, now on this interview, which again, you should watch Tucker's hard work doing it, you know, not, you know, not just, I'm not going to be one of those people that just plays the whole interview uh, word for word. Uh, but this is, uh, they're driving through his old neighborhood, I think in South Central, somewhere there roughly talking about a variety of topics. They obviously get on the poke. Ice Cube famously turned down $9 million uh, in a Jack Black film because they wanted to force uh, him. He had, would have had to take it. Now, there's a lot of theories going around. I mean, we saw Jamie Foxx obviously be very sick um, in Hollywood. Obviously, everyone else in Hollywood took it. And, you know, so it's... it's uh, the internet's weird sometimes, but I respect people's personal opinions. This is even at the height of everything. My opinion has always been, if you got it, you thought you did what was what you felt was right for you. If you didn't get it, you did what you felt was right for you. I'm not a doctor. I've never even been really out there about whether or not I've gotten it. Um, and uh, because I don't want to alienate people, I don't want, you know, I mean, I didn't. But uh, I don't judge people that did. Uh, it was a scary time. People had to support their families, things of that nature. Uh, you know, Ice Cube probably has plenty of money, but still turning down nine milli, that's a lot of money. And basically, not just turning down nine million, but he'll be blacklisted from Hollywood now, probably. I mean, if he doesn't get it, he's not going to get to work unless they change those rules, which <laughs> they're not going to. <laughs> but it was a command. I didn't. I mean, they told. I'm sorry. They told you. I mean, they couldn't have been clearer about yeah, it. Yeah, it was pretty clear. Uh, <laughs> uh, did you take it? Of course not. Yeah, no. It, it wasn't ready. What was interesting is uh, there was this information going on around for a while about Fox employees and whether or not you know everyone had gotten it because they were so 
on the surface against mandates and things of that nature. Well, it turns it turns out that Tucker actually worked remotely and he had his own studio at his house, so he probably didn't have to, you know, follow those same rules. So they go on and talk about this, and they talk about uh, how the NBA is um, freezing out Ice Cube and his big le- his big three league, things of that nature. But you know, you have really more than anything, you know, about people's. If I can make a comment of uh, an ignorant white guy's opinion about, uh, you know, how race relations are. I think it's far more about like your stature in life, your position in life. Like two blue collar people, one white, one black are going to get along. Most likely they're not going to have weird racial tension. They're both, their struggle is the same Two rich people two a white billionaire and a black billionaire are going to get along just fine. They're not talking about race. Uh, if you're poor, your struggle is the same. This, this, you know, this is 90% of it. Now, are there poor people who are racist? Yes. And by the way, obviously, uh, I don't believe racism is a thing that can only be practiced by, practiced by white people. Um, but, you know, I think this is an inconvenient narrative for uh, the mainstream media. Two people crossing kind of that political divide. Ice Cube is more like I am kind of where I don't roll with really any politicians. I don't trust any of them. Um and I don't believe that they have our best interests in mind in almost any scenario. I think most of politicians, their their sole motivation is for power and, and to enrich themselves. That's why they all end up so rich. You see, the rapper and actor Ice Cube said he refused to get the poke. Uh, he felt it wasn't ready, despite the decision costing him a $9 million film role. The 54-year-old was revealed in November of turned down a comedy, Oh Heck No!, where he's set to star alongside Jack Black on Tuesday night, he told Tucker why, insisting he'd never set out to be a poster child for this anti-poke movement. And again, it's not an anti-poke movement. This is, we'll look at some of the hit pieces, and this is what they'll say about Ice Cube. It's like, no, he's not against pokes in general. He was just against that one. This is a way the media would smear you if you didn't want to uh, if you didn't want to address, if you didn't want to take it, they're like, oh, you're a crazy conspiracy anti-poker. No, you just didn't want that. He asked Carlson if he got it. Carlson laughed and said, of course not. In April 2022, after months of dodging questions as to whether or not he had complied with Fox News' own policy, Carlson told an audience at San Diego Country County Megachurch that he was not poked. And again, like, it was interesting how, like, it's my decision, right? It's really none of your business. Not you. I'm not talking to my viewers, but like the media, whether or not I got it, it's none of my business. Now, if you're out there telling people to get it, well, then I want to know, do you have that coursing through your veins? Are you on your third booster? Yes or no, because you're telling me to get it. You know, that kind of stuff. That's one case. If you're just a regular old person, I don't really think it's anybody's business, uh, whether or not you've done that. Some reports suggest, by the way, he said it wasn't a difficult decision despite the money from which he walked away. Some report, some reports suggest Inglewood born stars worth $160 million. So an extra nine. I mean, I don't know. I've never had, I couldn't even fathom that kind of money. It, I can't even fathom like a million dollars in my bank account. Um, that, you know, if you have a million, what's another hundred thousand? I don't know, a lot. If you have a hundred million, what's another five million? It's probably not as it's probably not as big of a deal for most of us. That sounds like insane money, but I mean the guy's got more money than he'll ever need, and you know he's got generational wealth. His kids will never have to work. His kids' kids will never have to work. He also went to say, "I never told anyone not to get it. This was never my message to the world. I didn't even want people to know whether or not I got it. I was pretty upset that that came out. I was just trying to go quietly and not take it to deal with the consequences as they came." Carlson asked whether he knew anyone who had been adversely affected by it. He said, I do, and they suffer every day, and it's hard to watch. Sometimes you have to let people know what's going on and move the needle. If it's true, why can't I say it? That's a fair point. But then you get articles like um, Vibe, you know, Ice Cube's Tucker Carlson interview leaves many fans disappointed. Why? Because Because he's a free thinker? And he doesn't back politicians. Man, he sounds like my kind of guy. You know, he he talked about like 
how Obama didn't, you know, Obama was the first black president and as a black man, it was like a cool thing for him. But at the end of the day, Obama didn't do anything to help the black community. And he's right. What's unaffor What's unfortunate? What's disappointing about those statements? Pants are not pleased with these statements. One user wrote, I told you Ice Cube was a right winger. What? He had a conversation with the baddie bad people because he's not good like us. He can't sit at our lunch table until he obeys the teacher and do what he's told because we can change the world by only taking to each other about being morally superior or talking to each other about being morally superior. Another user humor, humor, humorously wrote, from America is most wanted to America his own. In reference to Ice Cube's 1990s debut album, where he advocates for black nationalism and uplifting of the diaspora. Another user broadened the conversation of the lack of access that black men receive, writing white men having conversation with black men is not socially progressive. What? What would be socially progressive is if black men could be mediocre and get the same opportunities as white men. Thus, Tucker Carlson riding around in the hood with Ice Cube is not a breakthrough. What does that even mean? Like these people, this is such an idiot take. Like these are, these are brain dead. It's like um, crabs in a bucket. I'm black, I don't like my situation, therefore, I want other black people to also be upset about their situation. Get back in the bucket with me. We can't succeed because I say so. There's lots of mediocre black folks making a lot of money. Just look at mainstream media. Are you kidding me? Look at Hollywood. Are you kidding me? Sure, Tyler Perry... Tyler Perry's made a lot of money. Would you say any of his films are Emmy nominated? Do you think Jordan Peele's movies are like the best you've ever seen? I mean, some of them are pretty good, but he's also had some real stinkers. Mediocrity is always awarded. It's about who you know. Then you have the root Ice Cube took Tucker Carlson for the ride, a ride through the hood and we're just as shocked as you are. And again, they call him anti-poke, anti but he's not. He's just anti that particular one. The whole thing's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to leave a link to my Minds account where we can actually talk about this kind of stuff freely, and I hope that you'll join me over there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.